Okay, Citizens Eye here today at the Braunston Carnival and I've got with me Leicester West MP, Liz Kendall. Hi Liz. Hello, hello Citizens Eye. <laughs> How's it going today? I love, I love Braunston Carnival. It is one of my favourite days of the year. It's definitely the best day in Braunston, best day in Leicester. Um, <laughs> I'll keep my fingers crossed that the sun comes out a bit more. Uh, I'm here because I love being here. There's all sorts of stuff going on. Um, I've also got all my contact details so people can get in touch yep. with me if they've got any problems. You can yep. see over there. Um, but I'm also uh, launching a health survey today here about what people think about the local NHS, their GPs, dentists, the local hospitals. Um, I think it's really important that uh, instead of expecting people to come to you as an MP, you go out to where people are. Uh, I mean, obviously, people are having fun today, yeah. but you know, if they want to fill out a questionnaire or take it away so I can get their views, that's really important to me. It helps helps me do my job and represent people here. So it's a bit of fun, a bit of work, seeing friends, making new friends. So it's really good. Yeah, it's interesting. Yesterday, I spoke to uh, City Mayor at the Meet the Mayor session at Beaumont Lees, yeah. and we were talking about how important kind of more informal yeah. sessions like this are in meeting yeah. people. Would you agree? Absolutely. I mean, I do... I have my kind of formal surgeries in my office, so if you, yeah. people have got a problem and they want to book an appointment with me, they can do that. But I also... I have a surgery at, at the Tesco's in Beaumont Lees, at the Bright Centre, at New Parks Library, and at the Tudor Centre, so that people, when they're out and about, can come and see me. Uh, and we also do things like this. So... I think the way we do our politics has got to change. We've got to go to where people are. It's no point saying, oh, people aren't interested, they don't engage, they don't vote. You've got to get out there and show people you care because you're working on the issues that interest them. And so, uh, I mean, as long as you don't disturb people when they're having fun at the carnival, uh, most people are happy to have a chat, so it's good. Yeah, I've noticed that today in getting time to interview you. It was a bit difficult because you've got a lot of people coming up wanting to speak to you. Have they been bringing any particular issues up well, in the area? What's interesting is often people don't necessarily know what an MP can do. So you'll start chatting and then someone will say, oh, you know, I've been made redundant or I'm trying to get a business yeah. going. And I'll say, well, do you want to, we might be able to help you with that. And they look surprised because they don't know because there's all yeah. sorts of different things you can do. I mean, I can't solve all the problems. I can't promise that I'll put them right. But um, my job is to explain, look, I'm here to help, basically. Anything I can do, I will do. So I think it's more having conversations with people, find out what's bothering them and then see what I can do. Yeah, that's the local scene. What you got going on down in Westminster at the moment? Well, I'm one of Labour's shadow health ministers and we're currently looking at the government's plans to have a total reorganisation of the NHS. I'm not in favour of that. I think they've created a lot of chaos and mess. I think patient care is suffering as a result. One lady I've just spoken to, she said her biggest worry is about waiting times and that people are starting to have to wait longer for services. So down, down in London nationally, I'm, I'm working to uh, oppose that legislation. But I've also been campaigning down in London for the future of Glenfield Children's Heart Surgery Unit. Friday was the end of the consultation. This week we took a massive petition to Downing Street. Over 100,000 people had signed it. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm absolutely determined to do all I can to make sure this absolutely brilliant unit remains. And I gave a speech about it in the House of Commons. So I, everything I do in the Commons is about speaking up for people here and in my role on the front bench it's about absolutely working to protect and improve the NHS in future and to make sure the government doesn't uh, doesn't make a mess of it. Okay, Liz, thanks for the interview today. My pleasure. Hope, hope you enjoy Could the you rest of the day. Did you hear it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, okay. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. <laughs>